Hey, hey, it's Miguel here, and I am so super excited to come back and share with you guys a small little message uh, about really your purpose in life. And, you know, who cares if somebody doesn't understand it? Here we go. So I know that sometimes we feel frustrated that people are not listening to us or they don't understand us or that we want to exceed in something, but people push us down. And it's happened to you. It's happened to me. It happens to all of us, many of us. Though as frustrated it can be, and I promise you, if it hasn't happened to you, it probably will be at some point in time in your life. You can't let other people's opinion of yourselves become your reality. You can't allow them to influence who you are and how you feel and your purpose really here on earth. All right, let me turn to the scriptures. Read with me. Hearken, behold, there went out a sorrow to sow. And it came to pass that as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and the fowls of the airs came and devoured it up. And some fell on stony grounds where it had not much earth, and immediately it sprung up, because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. And some fell among the thorns, and the thorns grew it up and choked it, and yielded no fruit. And others fell on good grounds, and it did yield fruit, and it sprung, and it increased, and it brought forth some thirty, and some sixty, and some a hundred. And he said unto them, He has that ears to hear, let him hear. There will be some that have ears but refuse to hear your message or even accept the purpose of your work. And sometimes you just have to understand the situation and just be patient with them. See, in Mark, we read three things that happened to the sower who was sowing. Some of the seeds fell off to the wayside and the birds came down and devoured them up. Two, some fell on stony grounds. Because there was no roots, as a result, the sun scorched them up and the plants did wither away. Lastly, the seeds fell with the tares and the weeds. And because of the roots of those tares, it choked up the plants that would be able to have provided the fruits. Now, these things do represent something, but I want to focus more on verse 9. And he said unto them, He that has ears to hear, let him hear. See, your efforts needs to go to those who are listening. And you cannot be discouraged by those who are not giving you guys the time of day. Think of it like this. A McDonald's owner, one who owns a franchise, is he sitting by the window looking at all the cars that are going by because they're not going into the stores? Or is he focusing on the customers that are going through the doors? See, in the restaurant business, the owner is actually more focused on the people who are coming into the establishment. He or she is focused on customer service and making sure that those who have entered are actually having a great experience. My friends, your life is so precious and you cannot be focused on the things that you cannot control. So focus on the things that you can control. Work your hearts out. Make sure that you're fulfilling your purpose in life and make sure that you are spending time with those who are listening to your message. This is my message for today. Love to hear what you think. As always, do me a huge, massive favor and make sure that you share this content. You might be changing and helping somebody's life. Also, make sure you to follow me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All that information is listed down below. Remember that progression is not the destination, but it's a daily habit. Love you all. See you next week. I am so super excited for next week's message. Peace. The children that I brought into this world, I want them to be happy. I didn't bring them for them to be moping and sad and look like they just finished eating a lemon.